Okay, I'm ready. Welcome back. Welcome oh, they back. did better. They did better this time. They did better. They did better. I, you know, they get prizes if they do real well. Yeah. Janice Hall is here from the Ohio Valley Gold and Silver Refinery. And for people that don't know what that is, you're having an event that's going on actually right now. Tell us about it. We are. We're at the Ramada Inn, and we are going to be there in the conference center, which is a beautiful facility. I don't know whether mm -hmm. you've had a chance to oh, visit sure. or not, but it's just wonderful. The people are great there. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, four really experienced buyers. We have also access to any number of uh, people that have knowledge on coins, gold, silver. So, if you know, if you're not sure... The gold and silver prices are nothing to laugh at in this yeah, economy, oh, uh, really. Yeah. Yeah. Over $1,400 an ounce for gold. Holy and that can be, cow. you know, this is gold. This is, these are class rings that a lot of people, most people are never going to wear their class rings again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dental gold is gold, and we know you're for sure not going to use dental gold again. No. Mm -hmm. So come down and get a check. We have thousands of dollars allotted for us and more if we need it to spend yeah. here in Mountain Home. Well, set the stage for us. I mean, you're at the Ramada Inn. And for, for people that, have, that are wanting to come down or have not been right. to an event like this, it's not something that you, you're asking them to bring their items. It's kind of like a road show where they, um, uh, they'll buy the, you, they will buy the property instead of saying it's worth this much and right. send you on your way. Exactly so you are right. buyers there. We are buyers. We are here to put money back into their pockets in this slow economy for things that are laying around like this silver cent. This is a beautiful mm -hmm. silver cent. Which a lot of people have. Yes, and, and, and they use them. They probably used them one or two times in a lifetime, and they don't know what to do with them now. They don't want to polish them. So yeah. you're talking hundreds of dollars for these silver sets that are sitting in people's chests that they may not even know they have. Mm -hmm. And that's what our events are designed to do. If you're not sure, bring it down. Let us look at it. That's what, that's what our and job is. And you can is. say, okay, this is the real thing. Or, or And not all coins are... Oh, certain years, right? Anything before 1964. Anything before 1964. Then does it matter how old it is, like whether it's 1898, whether it's 1942? Well, for people that don't know what 1964 right. is, before 1964, right. it was solid. But but after that, 90 they, put a, they sandwiged copper in between. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Exactly so those right. are the silver, the true silver those dollars. Those are the true silver dollars. That's now, how much are. then is, is, like, if I have... A silver dollar, how much is it worth in ounces? Every then? silver dollar, those are not, these are ounces here. Okay. These are ounces. Okay, this Feel is the, the big one. It's a little heavier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are ounces, those are silver ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, these are silver dollars. Yeah, these are, this is it, what everybody has. How much is that worth then? That one is uh, usually around $15. About 15 bucks. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But so, now every silver dollar has a different price. Every year, every mint mark has a different price. So those are things that you really just need to have checked out. They could be mm -hmm. anywhere from $5 to $20,000. Is there a meltdown piece. value to them? Or, or do, yes. do you go is, out is that what yes. Is that, that what you're paying then, is the meltdown value? Uh, no. No. Because no. I'm talking about the, the, the value of the of coin the coin, itself. Of the coin. Okay. The coin because itself. lots and lots of people have these lying around, sure. you know, that people yeah. collected for years right. and things like that. You're so. exactly right. And these are... Also, 90% silver coins. You have quarters, dimes. These are half dollars. And these are items... Before what year? 1964. A any any coin before... Any 19 coin before 1964 mm -hmm. that is silver mm -hmm. is truly a silver coin. Wow. You can get money for these, and it's more than face. So, you know, by mm -hmm. all means. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of pocket watches. This is a gold pocket watch. That's what that is. Okay. All right. And so a lot of pocket watches can actually be... Now, Worth that, that brings up a good question. Uh, you come to an event like this, and somebody brings in something that looks like gold, feels like gold. How do you know it is gold? Well, it should be marked. But a lot of older gold is not marked, but we have a test. Yeah. A chemical you have test. a test or okay. a chemical right. test. Okay. Right. Like, we can, we can generally like tell this. by looking this or feeling. Just, well, that's just a little ring, but those right. are just like little necklaces pieces, and stuff. Yes. Okay. And so you know, anything a lot of like that. are broken, but it doesn't matter. Gold is gold, is what I tell all So an old people. broken necklace that's been laying there in the jewelry box forever, bring that in and let you take a look at sure. it. Sure. I'm amazed by the coins. I knew people collected silver dollars, but a dime? And now my eyesight's going to be too poor to see this. 1964. Exactly. Everything wow. is probably 64 or no, uh, older. Uh, right. Or, yeah. 64 or older. These are yeah. all 90% silver. But I would have never right. thought about coins, I mean, quarters and dimes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is a 1960. And yeah. not only that, Amazing. but some of these can be key dates, and we will check each coin whenever you come in, because mm -hmm. these key dates are going to be worth hundreds of dollars. Now, why are they mm -hmm. worth more? They have more silver in them, or they're just a rare, just a rare, collectible just rare, a collectible date. rare mm -hmm. date? Okay. Right, right. And some of these class rings, like this right here, can be 
two and three hundred dollars a piece. They could be anywhere from fifty dollars up to four and five hundred. Mm -hmm. So you always need to have those checked mm -hmm. out. Those are those are items that, especially if you're not going to wear them anymore, they're not mm -hmm. sentimental to you. Mm -hmm. And even broken gold. It, gold's over fourteen hundred dollars an ounce. So we want you to bring it in. We want to put and that money changes back daily, in your pocket. It? it does change yeah, daily. Yeah. Does now change let's talk daily. about your company, Ohio Valley Gold and Silver. That's right. Uh, is it an Ohio comp Ohio State company, or where did no, it start out? And tell it us about actually it. Uh, started in Springfield, Illinois. They also have corporate offices in Ohio. But this particular show is concentrated more on coins and silver and gold. Mm -hmm. We also are buying vintage guitars. Some more military items. So it goes past just gold oh, and silver. Sure, okay. Sure. Yes. Uh, and we have some 70 some odd teams that travel all across the United States. And this is all we do. So we are very experienced and very knowledgeable. You say 70? 70, 70. 70 different teams? Now, what do you do with it? We send it back to the corporate offices. They distribute it however they would like. Do, do you do have buyers that, that maybe give you a request? I'm looking for this or this or this? Uh, we like have, a collector? Or? Right, we actually are buying for a corporate company that. And uh, they tell us what we can and cannot buy yeah, and what yeah. we need to spend on what. But, I mean, they're just a well, phone call away. And we also Is that have, how you yeah. do that? If someone yes. comes in and, and brings an unusual mm -hmm. item that you may not know everything you need to know sure. about it, how do you, how do you buy that on the spot? How does that work? Uh, well, actually, we have, we, can just, we have a video conference center in our room. Oh, really? That we can actually just take it up there and hold and it from the TV. It. Oh, wow. And, and okay. they'll... You know, they'll do the You've got somebody in, a, in an office in some high-rise building right, that, right. that knows exactly what that exactly. is. Exactly. Okay. And if we don't, we have a research department that that's what they're there for. Okay. They will research for days if they have to. So, so when come, people come down, tell us the dates when this is uh, that's We're gonna happening. We're going to be here uh, Wednesday, all today, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday we will close at 4 o'clock, though. Okay. All to right. get ready for the next show. And is there an admission fee? No, it's free of charge. Okay. You're under no obligation. And you're under no obligation to sell. That's the thing. You're coming down and mm -hmm. you bring items that, you know, you just don't need anymore or you don't want anymore. Maybe you need some money and you come down and you we make you an offer. You're under no obligation whatsoever right. to sell your items. Mm -hmm. If we spend an hour going through your things and you don't want to sell, that's fine. That's fine. Bring it in. A lot of times... We have had people leave with checks up to fifty-three thousand dollars. Wow! So that's a lot of money. That'd pay your house off, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. Make a it sure would make a huge dent in it if well, you didn't yeah. pay it off. Is yeah, most right. of it jewelry and coins that you see? Most of it. Most yes. of the people most bring in because they know the value. What right. What about an item that you, in in your home you say, well, it's a it's a lamp or something? Do you, are you interested in seeing those things too? Or? Uh, not not. It's not the antiques okay. roadshow. Well, Daniel I know. That's right. what I'm going to make sure to the right. audience out there. You said right. something about guitars. Guitars. But but that's a high dollar va uh, an item. You know, guitars are amazing as to how much they hold their value. In in this bad economy, a lot of things drop down. Guitars did not. Why so, is that? Do you know? You know, I, who knows the mysteries <laughs> of the world? <laughs> yeah. I'm not real sure. They just stayed up in value. They just stayed up in value. Okay. There are a lot of collectors out there that want these guitars. Is there is there something else that, uh, from a viewer at home that uh, mm -hmm. maybe something other than gold and, and guitars that may be of interest to bring in? Military items do really well. Okay. And, of course, gold coins. Now, military collector, I like pe things that people may have brought home from World War II, bayonets, the Korean War, bayonets, oh, okay. helmets. So you're not looking at, at medals or anything like that? Sure. Sure, medals, medals too. too. Yeah. Okay. Just in yeah. anything military. Anything but, military. But this show is specifically to buy gold and silver. Gold and silver and coins. But we do look at the other items, too. We can buy we the We can buy them. Can sure, buy. It just depends. Sure, sure. So uh, you, you would not restrict people from bringing in things that they think are as a, a value but really don't know. Exactly. You can that's tell what them that's really, for. I'm sorry, that's just not what we do. And Right, okay. right. But we would definitely still look at it. And if, if, if there's enough value there, we would pay them on the spot for that as well. Uh -huh. And that's another good thing. It's not going to be like a lot of these places where you send your gold off, mm -hmm. or you send your silver off, and you mm -hmm. wait on a check to come in the mail, and you don't really know what you're getting into there. We're going to pay you right there on the spot. Yeah, that would be a little skip because then they, you can send in five hundred dollar value, and they send you back a check for it. Well, it's a hundred bucks worth of stuff. I, you know, it, right. and, and is it ever going to come back? Exactly. You know, exactly. send you back a box full of stuff. So dad didn't want it. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I would never. That would that, that's yeah. that's more for the desperate. I'm not so sure that. Would but your be company's exactly. been around a while, so they've we have. Yeah. So they can get on the web years. and research you and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sure, sure. But, we would, uh, and you know, and come down and meet us. We're all a good group of people. We're all real fun-loving, and, and we're going to be nice to people anyway. Mm -hmm. It's not like a lot of places where you go in and they're just, you know, they're uh, kind of not welcoming to you. Mm -hmm. We have one of the best groups, I think, around. How many people are on your team? We have 
five people on our five team. Five people, and uh, mm -hmm. your husband's one of those people? My husband, on my this son, team? Okay. my baby boy. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Any coins earlier than 1964. Any that's a, that's a silver coin, right? You that's have dimes, quarters, you know, half dollars, dollars, all that kind of stuff. Gold coinage. Uh, gold coinage can be unreal. That's what you see trading on the market. Those can be of some significant money there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to bring those in. They're not very common. I mean, yes, they well, really are. Because sure. I know, I mean, people have you know silver dollars. I mean, oh. every family's got a few of those lying around. You'd and, be surprised and when people have got some crew rands laying around. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I, yeah, I would yes. have never known that. I know when <laughs> we were little, we used to get them like at Christmas and different, and we had a little jar of well, silver ago, dollars. Well, years ago, in the early 1900s, they used gold coins for currency. Mm -hmm. Just like we have dollars and quarters and right. nickels and dimes now, they had their gold coins. They were currency. That's how mm -hmm. much, how little gold was worth. Well, a lot of people saved those. They were grandmother's two and a half sure. dollar coin or mm -hmm. five dollar coin or ten dollar piece, mm -hmm. and those are ninety percent gold. So mm -hmm. you always want to bring mm -hmm. those in. Oh, those wow. are worth a lot of money. I get a lot of people have class rings lying around. That's a, because I, I graduated high school in 1981, and in the late 70s when gold took that first big jump. Yeah. And so I bought my class ring when I was a sophomore and paid like 70 bucks yeah. Yeah. for this gold class ring. The very next year, they were like $350 because sure. yeah. gold took a, gold took took a, a huge, mm -hmm. it got up to like $300 an ounce, which is like nothing now compared to 14 I had no idea $1,400. Well, a lot of people Whoa. have dentures laying around that have gold yeah. in them. Mm -hmm. Oh, what if are you going to do with those dentures? Their dentures? You know, really. How creepy. Exactly. You buy the whole denture? We do. <laughs> we buy <laughs> the whole hilarious. thing. People, buy the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. If people are unsure, then they, they can bring it in to make sure you it's bet. going because you, you have bet. testing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. it, you know, you're not supposed to know everything. That's what our job is. Come down and that's mm -hmm. what these events are for. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's not worth anything, you haven't lost anything. Yeah. So you can just take it back home. But, you know, you could have that $53,000 coin laying yeah. around. Or like we you definitely. said, someone can say, well, I, I don't really want to sell it. I just, you know, or don't right. want to sell it for that or something. So. We had a lady in Nevada, Missouri, brought in a sock full of gold coins. She didn't think they were real. Her husband oh, had really? inherited from an aunt wow. that had mm -hmm. passed away. And he had them under his bed in a shoebox. Do you remember what she got paid for that? $53,000 is <laughs> what she got yeah. paid. For a sock full of coins. sock full of coins. She nearly passed out. We had to fan her. <laughs> well, she turned <laughs> red right. and started sweating. I thought, well, here she goes. Yeah. Well, Genesis, 000. tell people it's when, when the dates are again and where you're going to be located. We're going to be at the Ramada Inn. Nine until six, Thursday and Friday, and Saturday mm -hmm. nine until four. Yeah. But now, if somebody admission. misses this one, you're going to have another show fairly locally. Or are you leaving our sure. area? Sure. And you can check our website out at www.treasurehuntersroadshow.com. Okay. And you can put in your zip code, and it will pull up a show in your area. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. You can All also right. print off an express pass where you want to wait in line. Good. So that's On the always website. great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Janice, we appreciate you. Now, you're going to leave the case here with us for us to... <laughs> for us to be, leave well, the coins, Dan, for us to go through. Well, That's what we want to do. So I'm I'd like to be able to work next week. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm surprised you got in here without security. Uh, as my pretty, husband said, we have security, we have our tennis shoes on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You get run, okay. Exactly. Well, you're pretty secure in, in, in uh, Mount Home, Arkansas. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. We, and, we've loved it here. It's and cool. good luck to you this week. Well, I appreciate you. And uh, everyone uh, that's interested in even going, can people just come down and watch the watch the action take place? Sure, yeah. sure. It's free admission sure. at the Ramada Inn. That's uh, this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, what's the time? Nine till? Nine until six. Nine till six, except Saturday, Saturday, and it closes at four. So get down there and uh, bring your items. Thanks, Janice. Thank yeah. you. All right, thank appreciate you very it. much. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have, who do we have? We have Ken Rhodes. No, we have, yeah, we have yeah, we Ken, do. Rhodes Ken Rhodes and, and Mary O'Leary. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be talking yeah. about the Champions of Justice. Stay with us. <laughs>